What's up, dude? What's in your pants? You got a fucking uh, baseball bat in there? Jesus. What are you talking about, bro? It's my dick. Stop looking at my dick. Weirdo. It's my dick. It's my... Give me your cash. Give me your money. Santa, no! Santa! Fuck you, Santa. Fanboy be like, please destroy my virgin boy funny. Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about buying my first AR-15, my first gun I actually bought um, at the age of 18 and um, the mistakes I made and how you can learn from them. Because what happened was it was 4th of July and I saw the sale. They had AR-15s on Palmetto State Armory for 500 bucks, which is very good deal. And they're very well rated, very high quality, good guns for beginners. And so I had to pick one up. So I ordered it and I kind of thought it would just get shipped to my house. I don't know why, I didn't know, I don't know much about that. So kind of stupid. So it pick, asked me to pick a FFL location, which is what happens is if you don't know, they'll they take your gun from the company and they send it to a registered fire firearms dealer so that you can do your background check and all that and so i didn't know about like the pawn shops in my town or anything i was just like let me do academy sports because it's like a i know academy sports i know where it is which was a big mistake because they have a transfer fee the transfer fee is a hundred dollars which is fucking crazy. The transfer fee at pawn shops, you guys need to go to like pawn shops, they says like $15, $20. So that was my first mistake. Also, Biden put in a new law. Okay, see. So that there's a, if you're not 21 and you're under 21, but you're 18, you're old enough to buy a rifle, you, they, they have a waiting period now to check your check your criminal record as a child. So now, now I guess your, your criminal record as a child does matter for something, which I guess it could be a good thing, but also it's annoying to wait. And I thought it would be a long waiting period. He said, minimum three days, maximum 30 days. And I was like, damn. So I have to wait a few weeks for my gun, maybe two weeks, maybe less. Not, not even, not even 14 hours later, like, that evening is when I filled out my paperwork and he told me I had a wait time. Got home, played some video games, watched some hentai. Then I fucking wake up to a call from Academy. I'm like, what's up? They're like, your background check was approved. It hasn't even been 12 hours. This dude said a minimum three days. 12 hours, I was good to go. I guess I was just such a good child. And um, I went to pick up my gun. And as I was picking it up, he had me fill out my little password on the tablet, which is your last name and your area code. And I kind of don't know my area code because I'm a dumbass. And so I was looking in my mom's messages to find it because I've asked her so many times. And I started typing hers in on accident. And then the dude was like, this doesn't match your license. He was freaking out thinking I was like some shooter or something. I was like, chill, man. I'm just kind of stupid. We figured it out. Got my gun, um, and I, I have opened it, but I haven't really looked at it extensively. I'm about to unbox it, look at it with you guys. I'm so excited. I'm not shooting it today, though, unfortunately. I'm going to wait till my friend gets, he's in, that's going to be a different thing. That'll be a different video. I just don't have time today. I'm fucking packing my shit, moving out, but I'm just going to show you guys this here. This is the box that came in. Oh yeah, Palmetto State Armory. Oh, and I also bought, I ended up buying, you gotta keep an account when you're, when you're thinking about buying your first gun. I was kind of thinking, oh, okay, $500, that's not bad. You don't wanna buy ammo. 
you don't want to buy probably a magazine or two. You got to take account your FFL fee, which shouldn't be much for you, but for me, it was $100. So I spent, I got 200 rounds of 5.56, five, 100 bucks. No, like 130 bucks. An extra mag, 15 bucks. Um, and the FFL fee. So I ended up spending like maybe 200 some dollars. I'm not great at math, 245, something like that. Here's the mag I got. I don't know if this mag's good. This is just what they have at Academy. I'm not real tapped in with the gun scene. So you guys can tell me if this dog shit mag, but it's probably not. I mean, it's, hopefully it's good. To, just from like feeling the screen, the tension on the spring, like I haven't been around a lot of AR mags, but it feels, it feels like a legit, like a real, like a mag, I don't know. And I got, uh, 200 rounds of 5.56. Five, he asked me if I wanted the green tip or the full metal jacket. And I was like, full metal jacket? I don't think I need the green tips. Not yet. Not yet. And, all right, you guys ready to see the sexy gun? Usually they have some cheap guns on Palmetto State, but I think this is one of the nicer beginner ARs like I think this thing usually runs around a little over a thousand dollars and I got it for just over five hundred dollars all right I'm gonna show you guys Woo. check that bad boy out mm. comes with a nice stock it has I think it has three or four settings and it's just a pretty gun they're kind of smaller than I thought. Like, just in your hands, it feels light and small. It's just, it's perfect, man. Very, I'm very excited about it. I'm not like a gun guy reviewer, so I don't know what to say. Like, I don't know, be like, oh yes, the, the, like, I don't know what to talk about on this. I just think it looks sick as fuck. And what I really like is, well, they, they send you everything you need, so look, this, this is a nice case. I'm sure all guns come like this, but what's cool, they send you, they gotta send you, if, you, you know, if you're not sending people stickers with your products, you're doing something wrong. I wouldn't put this on my truck or anything because I don't, I wouldn't, I don't suggest putting any gun stickers on your guys' vehicles, to be honest, because that's just, that's, that's like a, I see it all the time, like, they have a Glock sticker on their truck or a Palmetto Stay Armory or the it's like a they have the fan like the family sticker but it's AR fifteens and like little pistols of the kids. Like you you don't need to do all that. That's that's fucking stupid. That's like putting a sign saying break into my truck. I have lots of guns in here. And here here um to be honest, that is the that's a good reason to break in someone's car. You're you're basically like why, why would I not break in your car if you have free guns? Like, would I want to break in someone's car that has, like, $20 in cash and some shitty sunglasses? Or two AR-15s and a Glock? Like, I'm going to break in your car if you have gun stickers. Not me. Well, I'm not, but, you, you know. Okay, and then what I like is it comes with iron sights, which is good. Because I'm not about to, I'm broke right now. I'm not about to spend extra money on a red dot or something. So, I'll have to get this set up and everything. And what th this shocked me, I didn't, I didn't realize, because I, I bought this mag thinking it didn't come with a mag and thinking they would skimp out, but Palmetto State has you covered. It comes with a mag and a gun lock. That's awesome. They're really, they're a really good company, guys. I think their focus is to everyone be able to, you should be able to a reason, have reasonably priced ARs and AKs and I think that's what their company's about, is getting guns in the hands of everyone who wants them. Um, that's, this is a cool little lock. It says Palmetto on it. I don't know if I'll ever use this, but I might. If, like, I don't know, kids come over to my apartment or something. I don't fucking know. Check out this little lock, bro. This shit's sick. I love that they include this. I don't know. I haven't bought other ARs or anything. 
You guys can tell me. Do most companies send you a little lock? That's that's awesome, man. You got two keys in case you lose one. Wow. I'm really impressed with Palmetto State, guys. And um, I'm, I am glad they included this rear sight because I did not want to buy, have to order or buy anything else, really. And then this mag is... 30 round capacity. What is this one I bought? Twenty round capacity. The fuck? This is twenty round capacity. Twenty to thirty round construction. What the fuck? Twenty two thirty. So I guess it's kind of your option. How much tension you want to put on the spring? I guess I don't know. But um. Also, guys, is there a, this? You guys are gonna think I'm stupid. Is there a difference between two, two, three, and five, five, six? Because I think this gun, this gun, both these mags can take it. I think this gun can take both. So, what is the difference, technical difference between two, two, three, and five, five, six? I know they're very similar. And what the fuck is this? The fuck? I'm excited, guys. Let's see if I can. Open these magazines. Kind of. Jeez. I might have to get a tool to open this. Oh, yeah. I got a big daddy knife right here. Fuck yeah. This is basically in, uh, if you lived in fucking the UK, this would be your version of getting an AR 15 when you're 18. You'd be like, oh, yeah. Run your pockets, fam. Run your pockets. Yeah, fam. Don't make me wet you up, fam. What you gonna do, fam? I got this big, big stick on me. I keep it on me. Every day, cuz. Oh, yes, I've got the hunting knife with the cork handle. Run your pockets. Run your pockets, homie. Run your virgin boy, Fanny. Ugh. Dude, when you beat them against your head, you can hear the spring go, whoa. It's fucking sick, man. It's fucking awesome. Okay, okay, okay. All right, guys, don't send those to modeling agencies without my um, permission. Can't be profiting off this. Yeah, take a screenshot. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah! <sighs> Bro, British motherfuckers are seeing this, they're like, They'll never, never touch a gun in their life. That's sad. That's actually sad. I shouldn't, shouldn't joke about that. That's kind of sad. They don't have rights. Bow, bow, bow. I'm excited to shoot this shit, guys. I'm acting like a fool, but I do, I do know gun safety. I've shot ARs before. I've shot guns. I just don't know a lot about the purchasing and buying. And I'm not like, you know, I'm not, you know. I've shot, I've shot guns most of my life. I have guns. I have A22. And now I have an AR. I'm pretty happy. Are you, is it gonna be fucked up if I, like, put an, fucking hentai stickers on all my magazines? Is that, like, weird? Am I gonna get booed off the gun range if I put fucking hentai stickers on everything? Maybe I'll even put it on my little, like, right here. Put, like, a little... Hentai booty, some big titties. I don't know. Then they'll 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 really be afraid then because <sighs> Oh yeah. I don't have much else to say guys. If you're gonna if you're gonna buy a gun when you turn, what the fuck is this? It's like almost like a 
Whoa, dude. I'm trying to see if there's a little shit. Does this little under this uh, grip, this pistol grip, does this come out? I think it does. But I, I don't want to fuck it up. I'm going to have to learn how to take this apart and clean it and all that shit. Oh, I'm going to have to buy cleaning supplies. It's more money. Dude, literally, I spent so much fucking money. I went, I was over at McDonald's like, damn, I really want to make chicken. But I was like, Oliver, you just spent like $700 on gun shit. You need to chill out. You're going to be on your own. And you don't even have no money. Nothing. So. But at least I'll have 200 rounds of 5.56. You know, to keep me warm at night, you know. And there's no girls. All you need is a good one, right? You don't need women. You don't need women. You have hentai. And guns. Oh, shit. Uh, I don't want to fuck this box up, guys. I'm so bad at opening shit. Oh, here we go. Nope. Maybe not. Maybe so. I need to watch a tutorial on how to open an ammo box. Oh, shit. Ooh. Have we done it? Have we done it? As you can see, this is a fully semi, fully semi-auto AR-19 heat-seeking 14,000 round shot capacity triple trigger um, grenade launcher extra 50, 50 caliber rocket launching grenade caliber super super deadly ghost gun no serial number super automatic fully fully super deadly extra republican <laughs> if you guys are gonna buy a gun at 18 honestly you should buy a gun at 18 I think if if you're like you know, if you're, like, suicidal, don't buy a gun. That would be kind of fucking stupid. But buy a gun if... Honestly, I'm going to be on my own, living on my own. So I got a gun. It's not only for self-defense. Also, I've always liked guns. So I'm going to go shoot and have fun with it. But um, they're nothing to be scared of, guys. If you, if you know proper, like, how to handle a gun... Let's see, what are the rules... Always keep your hand off the trigger until you, you're ready to shoot. Um, don't point it at anything you don't you aren't okay with like destroying. Always act like it's loaded. So like I'm not gonna joke around like those rappers and fucking point at everything. You don't want to point it at your friends. Be like ooh, just cause just cause it's there's no magazine or. You think it's clear? It's, it might not be. Like even if even if you know 100% in your head that it's clear, you're never gonna go point this at someone. You're never gonna do nothing like that. You know all that stuff. You've shot guns before. You should get a. You should get yourself a, a gun. It's, it's cool. My parents don't approve. My parents are super liberal. They're like, well, yeah, they're gonna be fucking all pissy wissy. But it's not. I'm an 18. I'm an adult. I'm a grown man now. You guys should definitely get guns. Guns are very cool. We're probably the only country in the world that gets to play with guns. Um, don't take that for granted. We're also probably the only country where you get... Sh well, no, that's not true. You get shot in all types of countries. So, yeah, you guys should have fun with guns. I'm just kind of dragging this video out because it's fun. I've never loaded one of these shits before, so... Ah! All right, guys, I I'm sorry for, I've been dragging this shit out for too long. That's cool how it stacks like that. But I'm gonna I'm I'm make a video, it's gonna be, a, there's gonna be a range day video, probably be a, uh, with Dominic or something. I'll have some friend out there with me. And we'll go shoot, it'll be awesome. All right, guys, I love you. Stay safe and